just landed on my desk are a whole bunch of vitamin B complex lab test results from 16 well-known brands. And the results are absolutely shocking. So if you're currently using a B-complex supplement or are thinking about taking one, then this presentation is essential viewing if you want to avoid being ripped off. Now, all products underwent HPLC testing, revealing the actual amount of B vitamins present in each capsule, tablet, or soft gel compared to the label claim. Now, ideally, we're looking for products to match the label claim as closely as possible. However, I will allow a discrepancy of up to 10% below the label claim before categorizing the product as a fail. Additionally, exceeding the label claim may also result in a fail if that excess is over 50% more than the label claim. Now, I know that might appear overly lenient. However, I will mark down the closer an excess gets to that 50% limit. Now, I'll be reviewing the products in order from worst to best. And unless stated otherwise, all products contain vitamin B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12. So let's kick things off with the product in last place. And that honor goes to Vitamin B Complex from Nature's Way. Now this product had me shaking my head in disbelief. Firstly, it contained only 68% of the listed amount of B9, only 12% of the listed amount of B2, almost double the listed amount of B9, and over 50% more than the listed amount of B12, which by the way, was an inferior synthetic form of B12 known as cyanocobalamin. Also, the capsules are made from gelatin, so not suitable for vegans or vegetarians. In conclusion then, don't buy it, and if you already have, bin it. Next up is the popular but pricey brand, New Chapter, with their vegan tablets. Now, quite how these cowboys thought they'd get away with peddling this crap is beyond me. The product contained only 79% of the listed amount of B7, only 88% of the listed B12, which by the way was in the cheaper synthetic form, but it gets worse because the tablets also failed at a disintegration test requiring 55 minutes to break apart after absorption. Avoid this one like the plague. And it doesn't get any better with our next product from Nature Made. These dodgy soft gels contained only 64% of the listed B9, only 57% of the claimed B5, and rather shockingly, over three times the listed B12 content. Now, it's really quite hard to comprehend this level of dozing negligence, and most definitely propels these jokers onto my ever-growing blacklist. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for this brand, we also have test results from another lab for a different batch of the same product. Now this time it contained over double the listed amount of B12 and more than 50% over the listed B5. So it's quite obvious that buying a B complex supplement from this brand is a total lottery. Forewarned is forearmed. Now the results for this next brand really surprised me because in my experience, Solgar are generally a pretty trustworthy company. So I was somewhat alarmed to learn that the product's vegetarian capsules contain more than 60% over the claimed amount of B7. Although to be fair, there was no issue with the other ingredients. But unfortunately, it doesn't end there because when the same product by a different batch was tested by another lab, it was found to contain only 1% of the claimed B7, over 50% more than the listed B9, and 50% over the listed B12 content. Now, these sort of dosing discrepancies are extremely concerning, especially from such a long-established upmarket brand. It appears to be getting close to the stage where without testing, we really don't know which brands we can trust anymore. And that's why I choose to buy many of my supplements from the aging research company Do Not Age. Now, they may not sell a vitamin B product, however, they do offer a wide range of highly effective longevity supplements. And most importantly, every new batch of product is third-party lab tested before going on sale. But not only that, they refuse to use fillers and flow agents in their capsules, even though this decreases profit which is precisely why you find these unnecessary fillers in almost every other brand, because it makes the product cheaper to produce. But now you can buy Do Not Age's study back longevity supplements at exactly the same price that I pay, using my exclusive 10% discount code, which will work for all products, including subscriptions and special offers. Enjoy. Now back to those results. And it's another fail, I'm afraid, this time from the premium vegan brand Garden of Life. 
the capsules contained only 80% of the claimed amount of B7 and more than 50% over the listed amount of B9. All other ingredients were slightly over, but surprisingly for such an expensive vegan product, it uses a cheaper synthetic form of B12. I would suggest avoiding this subpar product. Last of the fails up now, and this time we have the popular brand Nature's Bounty. This product contained three times the listed amount of B5, almost double the listed B9, and over 60% more B12 that's stated on the label, which I'm afraid was also in the synthetic Scion Cobalamin form. Nothing left to say other than give this product a wide berth, it simply can't be trusted. Now thankfully from here on it's only those brands that receive the pass, so hopefully we'll now find something actually worth parting with our hard earned cash for. And the first product to receive a pass is from Trader Joe's. Now it's not your typical B complex product as it only contains vitamin B6, 9 and 12. And although all three ingredients did exceed the label claim, the product came worryingly close to a fail due to the B12 content being perilously close to that generous 50% excess limit that we set earlier. So even though it did scrape a pass, I'm not comfortable recommending this product due to the labeling inaccuracy. Also for your information, it uses a synthetic form of B12 and that alone is enough to put me off. Next up we have vegan friendly B complex capsules from Moxivitz. All ingredients were slightly over except for B2 which was 7% underdosed, B3 which was 8% underdosed and B7 which was 3% under. However it was nice to see the product using the superior metal B12 and there's even a whole food fruit and veg blend thrown in there, however the accuracy of those ingredients were not tested for. It's the brand GNC under the spotlight now with their gelatin capsule product. All ingredients were slightly overdosed except for B9 which was found to contain 8% less than the stated amount. Also I did find the fillers used to be somewhat excessive and I wasn't keen on the use of synthetic B12, however at least the product's cheap. It's Berry Bliss Tubals from Jameson up next with all ingredients slightly exceeding the label claim except for vitamin B2 which was found to contain 8% less than the listed amount per tubal. The B12 present is in the preferred form, so all in all, this seems like a reasonably good product. Next we have the Costco brand Kirkland with their B complex tablets. Now all ingredients were slightly over except for vitamin B2 which was an exact match to the label claim. Unfortunately though this product uses the cheaper synthetic B12 and in my opinion also uses way too many tablet fillers. In its favour though, the brand does generally offer very economical supplements. California Gold Nutrition under the spotlight now with their B complex gummies, which contain only B3, 6, 7, 9 and 12. However I'm happy to report that all the ingredients were slightly above the listed amounts. I was a bit disappointed though to see the use of synthetic B12 rather than methylcobalamin and some may be also be put off by the fact that each gummy contains 2 grams of sugar. Next up is the very popular brand Jaro Formulas. The ingredients were all slightly overdosed except for B5 which contained 40% more than the claimed amount. However the product does use the preferred form of B12 and the veggie capsules contain an acceptable level of fillers. Country Life take the stand next with their B complex vegan capsules. All ingredients were slightly overdosed except for vitamin B7 which was underdosed by 5%. The level of fillers were acceptable and the B12 was in the preferred form so all in all this appears to be a solid product. Next we have today's runner up from Lake Avenue Nutrition. Always a reliable brand in my experience so I'm happy to report that all the listed ingredients were slightly overdosed. Great to see the superior form of B12 being used and the vegan friendly capsules contain an acceptable amount of fillers. In my opinion, Lake Avenue's B Complex is an excellent choice if you're looking for an attractively priced high dose product. And today's winner is B Complex Veggie Caps from Super Nutrition. All ingredients closely matched the label claim, all actually slightly over, and a superior form of B12 was used. No issues with the capsule fillers, although of course I would prefer none. Perhaps more surprising though is the product's price point which is exceptionally low for this quality, so well done Super Nutrition. And by the way the top 5 products are all available at the very lowest online price from iherb.com and you can get them even cheaper by using my exclusive discount code on screen now. And that code will work for every product on iherb's website. 
And before anyone points this out in the comments, yes, there are several top brands such as Now Foods, Doctors Best, Thorn, and Life Extension that were not tested here. But you can't test everything. And the track record of these brands, especially taking into account my previous lab test videos, indicates that wildly inaccurate dosing has not been an issue for them in the past. However, I will of course try to randomly include these brands in future presentations. Many thanks for watching and as always, take care, be healthy, and I'll see you again soon.